Good morning, this is your pre-market with Rob right here, Real Talk Stock. So we're talking about KG, KG as usual. Uh, it closed about 0 0.0155 yesterday, so that's 0 0.0155. That's not too bad. We had a little bit of a pullback from the the 0178 mark. It's uh, not real big a deal. You know, it's still staying right around there, right around a penny and a half. You know, and we'll see if it if it moves up in the next month or two. I mean, it's going to take a while. This is a, a, a long play. It's not a short play. If it does happen and it has a little bit of a of a of a ride you can uh, grab some of your money back or or let it ride you know that's i'll probably end up letting it ride myself but you know that that's that's here nor there that's that's my opinion on kg kg i do like the company i've talked about it before i've been in the play for a while and you know they do have their products out there on the shelves in walmart now and that's a really good deal and they're getting more distribution centers as they go and more people are wanting to distribute their um their drink their energy drink and they got an energy drink and they got a water drink so they're both hemp infused they also sell some clothing and they have a little bit of merch going with them and that's good because that builds up the company and hopefully they'll they'll get into the right things this year like going to some of the festivals and and uh promoting their product a little bit better and and actually getting out there with the with with people and showing them what their product is i think that's where they need to be at and i have i haven't seen that from them yet and maybe that's one of their little bit of a downfall i think is they're not uh, marketing their product right and that's just my opinion because uh you know marketing is everything and in that note you know we we i want to move on and move on into amc and you know we all know about amc and how they're they're playing out and they're they're crappy ass whatever's going on their manipulation of all manipulations because it should have it, it actually should have squeezed by now if you if you want to look at the numbers and we're holding it all and and they're not paying their cut they're not uh, covering their calls and their puts and you know we're not getting paid as shareholders so there's a lot of manipulation in that and i and i'm not a financial advisor so don't take this off what i say don't buy sell or trade off of what i say i'm just giving you my opinion of what i think i think it's staying right in between the calls and the puts and they're manipulating the hell out of this play and i'm getting really sick of it by the way you know and the only people that are winning are the calls and the puts so we'll, we'll really see what happens there and today's friday i've been talking about it all week about the uh it staying right in between we're right at 1450 guys and and that that's that's call and put ratings right there and it ain't going nowhere else. It's staying between 14 to 20. And, you know, that's that's in the calls and the puts. We're, we're not getting shit as shareholders. We're getting screwed out there as shareholders on it. And if you believe, truly believe that, give me a like uh, and a comment. And uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the algorithms out. And it gets me out there. More and more people can see my, my videos here. One thing... Uh, you know, not to get off any other topics, but this is a whole different ball game of topics in the sense of uh, what's going on. It does kind of reflect with the stock market and um, people getting jobs and everything. And I want to talk about like how everybody keeps blaming everything on Russia and the, and the media here, you know, uh, about, oh, you know, because we don't have enough oil and we're not, you know, gas prices are up. Man, it has nothing to do with Russia at all. 8% of our freaking oil comes from russia that's not enough that that that, that should not affect our country at all we get 51 percent of our oil from canada the rest of it comes from right here in the united states the little bit of bullshit that comes from russia and what these idiots are talking about man they're they're, they're throwing the wool over your head they're, they're doing this on purpose guys this is a, a big money play this is a push a move I've told you, this is a third wave. I've talked about it for the last five years of what's going on. And these guys out here, our president, our government is screwing us as American citizens. They're, they're completely off topic of what's going on. Uh, Russia doesn't run our country. No country should have bearance on what we're doing in our country. Not like that. Not like this. Not like that. You know, not like what's going on today in America. You know, 8% and all of a sudden we're, we're having a crash because of, of Putin? I, no, that's bullshit. That's a lie. That's pulling wool over your guys' heads. Man, open your eyes and understand that the government is screwing us. We need to get Biden out of office. 
all three of them, Kamala Harris and the Nancy Pelosi. But that's, you know, that's a whole different subject. We're off that subject. Go do your own homework. Go do your own due diligence. Check out what's going on in the world today, and you will you'll see that that this is a bunch of screw around of this whole thing between the stock market, the news media, the government. You know, they're 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 totally raping us. So get up, get out, get it. Don't talk about it, be about it. If you can invest in the market, this might be the time to invest in the market. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to go do it, but man, numbers are down. If you're an investor and you have extra money, you might want to start looking around and see what's going on. If you don't, uh, you don't take my word for it, I don't want you to. Take your own word for it. Uh, maybe go listen to Luke at Stealth Wealth. He's got some really good ideas of what's going on, and he's been doing this a long time. He's got five great stock picks that he did. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really amazed that he picked them. You know, uh, I knew Google would be one of them. I knew Amazon would be one of them. I knew Tesla would be one of them. You know, that's how the guy is, and he's, they're growth stocks. So go check them out, see what you think, and get back to me. Hey, this is pre-market. Everybody, stay up. Or down.